Hello my friends and welcome to Ryan's Kitchen. In this show I will teach you how to make gourmet food. That's actually a total lie. This is probably going to be the only food video I ever make. I usually make outdoor adventure videos, but since it's a little hard to go on outdoor adventures, I've been learning some new tricks in the kitchen. Look at that. Oh. Raise your hand if you love hummus. Well good, because that's what we're gonna make today. And just a little background about my culinary skills or lack thereof. I am not good in the kitchen. I barely make food. I'm one of those guys that's really good at making cereal, burritos, and pasta. So if I can do this, you can definitely do this. I get a lot of questions about my diet. Everyone wants to know how I fuel myself for my long adventures. Well, I eat a lot of different types of food, and I'm a vegetarian, so I eat a lot of plant-based protein. And you all know this, black beans, frijoles, burritos, I can eat this stuff all day long. But I also love hummus. And where does hummus come from mainly? Garbanzo beans! That's right, they're in the bean family. We gotta show some love to all the beans. And I love hummus because it tastes really good, and it's an excellent source of protein and you match that up with some pita bread or some crackers and you've got yourself some carbs and carbs are what keep your body going for those long adventures now if you're like me and you go to the grocery store every week you buy those little things of hummus they're like five bucks i can go through one of those whole things pretty much in one sitting it's very expensive and another drawback is plastic they all come in plastic containers Plastic doesn't really get recycled as much as we would like to believe and it ends up in landfills in the oceans And it's on our planet forever So I started thinking what can I do to save money and reduce plastic and that is make your own damn hummus Ryan Here we go. All right, let's get started and like I said at the beginning. This is super duper easy to make I essentially learned how to make this a week ago and here I am teaching you how to do it That's how easy it is and this is is what you need. Not a whole lot of stuff. Sesame, tahini spread, olive oil, lemons, garbanzo beans, and some sort of a food processor blender type thing. And if you want to go next level on this thing, you can buy garbanzo beans in bulk and soak them overnight. And that obviously is a lot fresher and maybe healthier. I'm not to that stage yet, so I'm just sticking with the cans. A handful of recipes online say that the first thing you should do is squeeze in the lemon juice and the tahini and then blend that up. I don't really know why, but it seems to taste good. And after you do that, then you add the olive oil and the garbanzo beans. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at all that fresh lemon. This is also, I think, how you make lemonade. Who would have ever thunk it? <laughs> And how much lemon juice do you need? I don't know, that much? Half a lemon? Seems to work. Now it's time for the sesame tahini. And this stuff smells good. Again, I'm not very scientific with my quantities, but that looks good to me. La la la. <laughs> All right, now it's time to use the power tools. Fun fact about this Nutribullet, my mom got it for me for my birthday like five years ago and I pretty much never used it until the last month. So, thanks mom. All right, you ready for this action? <laughs> go, 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 go. All right, check it out. It should be pretty pasty in there, see that? Mmm. Not quite hummus yet though. La, 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 la. You'll notice when you open the can, there's lots of liquid. It's garbanzo juice, and I like to use it and the final product. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this in there and then wash off the rest of the garbanzos with this strainer. You look at happy little garbanzos about to get murdered in the blender. Yes, you are. All right, we're making progress. I'm feeling good. Hummus is about to be made. Can I add, you know, about that much olive oil? I don't know how much is good. You just kind of play with it. Gonna dump in all the garbanzos. Are you ready for party time? Let's do it. Woo! Oh yeah, come on baby, yeah. Go, 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 go. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, baby! Let's check it out. You ready to 
to see what's inside. It's so smooth and creamy. Look at that. Mmm. It's so good. So there you have it, my friends. A whole batch of hummus. You can add a little bit of salt or pepper or more tahini, olive oil. Just keep playing with it till you get it where you want it. Oh, and guess what? It's way cheaper than the grocery stores and you're not buying little plastic containers that are someday gonna float in the ocean and choke a dolphin. How do you feel about that? This is a win-win all around. Hummus for dummies. If I can do it, you can definitely do it. This took about 15 minutes total and this will stay fresh in your refrigerator for about a week. If it lasts that long, you're gonna suck this down so fast, it tastes so good. So thank you so much for watching my video. I know it's way different than the normal content I make, but don't you worry, I'll be getting back to those adventures soon enough. Please like and subscribe, and if you have the ability, please join my Patreon, and join me next week as I teach you how to make fizzy water. Boom, 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 boom! Just kidding, there's nothing to it. You just push the button. Here's a bonus tip for you out there. If you're wondering how I keep my skin so silky smooth and shiny, it's because I lather hummus all over my face every night before bed. It does the trick, but it ruins your sheets.